Unprocessed emotions can be stored in your body and show up as tension or pain. So if you feel like you're holding on to tension that your body can't release, especially in the neck and shoulders, then this somatic Pilates practice can help. Somatic practices simply help you to bring your awareness into your body so that you can release held pain or tension. Welcome to the Mindful Movement. If we haven't practiced together before, I'm Sarah Raymond, and I'm glad you're here. Today's practice will, as I mentioned, help you to bring your awareness inside and release any tension or pain that your body may be holding onto. Keep in mind, this is a practice. So all of my teaching is invitation. You take what works in your body, leave the rest, be curious, explore, and do what your body needs today. And know that you have choice and you have control in this practice. So if you show up one day and you need one thing and another day it doesn't feel right in your body, that's okay. Take what you need today. Uh, so you don't need really anything other than your body and possibly a mat if you want to be on the floor. Some of these exercises you can do on a chair if you would prefer. So you can decide. All right. As a way to come into a feeling of safety and start the process of bringing your awareness inward, we'll start with an orienting experience. So that simply means looking around your space and uh, arriving. <laughs> so you can take a moment now, settle into either a seated posture on the floor or in a chair, and just begin to allow your awareness to drift around your space. Let your eyes curiously scan the space you're in. You might notice familiar objects, You may allow your awareness to notice textures or patterns or sounds. There's no real agenda here, it's just noticing. Let go of the need to label right or wrong, good or bad. Let go of trying to solve any problems you might become aware of. I know that's a, a hard one for me. And then in your own time, allow your scanning awareness to shift from your external environment to what you're experiencing inside. And that may mean softening your gaze or even closing your eyes. And again, there's no agenda, no right or wrong way to do this. It's simply observing. And knowing that there will be some movement ahead in this practice, just check in with the state of your physical body. Do you notice any areas of tension or discomfort? Do you notice any areas of comfort or ease?
Are you aware of areas of contact or heaviness into the surface you're sitting on? Are there er areas of spaciousness? You might notice if there are areas of emotional feelings in your body. And then as we move into a brief breathing practice, you can continue to keep your eyes closed or your gaze soft or if you'd like to reorient to your external environment, you are welcome to open your eyes. So the invitation for breath work is a long, slow inhale through your nose and an extended exhale with a hum or a, a vibrating noise. So it could be a, a voo or an ah, or mouth closed hum. So you can decide, you can try multiple different styles. It's really up to you. So as you're ready, long, slow inhale through your nose, and then some sounding as you extend your exhale as long and slow as you can. Really intend to fully exhale, releasing all of the air that you can on your exhale so that your body just naturally begins the next inhale. couple more on your own or you're welcome to be complete when you feel the time is right for you. And as you're ready, allow the vocalizing to release. And just come back to a natural breath. And we'll move into some self-massage to help bring some awareness and um, sensation to the area of the body that we are focusing on today, which is the neck and shoulders. So again, all of this is invitation, take what feels good, explore something different if what I offer isn't for you today. So we'll start um, with our fingers on the back of our neck. You can aim your fingers inward. And then from your, your spine, your cervical spine, you're going to be pulling out with your fingers. And if it feels okay, gently tip your head back and then release. And we'll just work our way slowly down from where the base of your skull meets your neck to where your neck meets your shoulders. And then you can start over at the top again and slowly work your way down. And if you feel called to tip your head side to side a bit, you can do that as well. And then we'll start to move down the side of our neck. So from the bony point right behind your ear, you'll 
I like to make like a little cup with my fingers and I'm going down along the ropey muscles along the side of my neck towards my collarbones. And you may want to do both at the same time or you may feel called to do one side while either turning or tipping your head. Just see how that feels. And our sides do not always feel the same, so you might want to spend a little bit longer on one side. You can see what feels good. And then once you've done the side of your neck a few times, we'll go to the top of your shoulders. So I like to just wrap my hands around so my fingers are pointed down. And then as if I'm trying to grab the skin on my back and pull it over my shoulders. And then once you've done that a few times, we'll go to squeezing the top of the shoulder. So you make a little cup with your finger around the top of your shoulder. You can squeeze and release one hand on the opposite side if that's easier and then start to squeeze the top of your shoulders with the opposite hand squeeze and release And then just relax your arms by your sides. Check in with how you're feeling. What do you notice in the area where we were just creating some self-massage? And then we'll begin to add some gentle stretches for the neck. So you can tip your, I'll mirror you, tip your left ear toward your left shoulder, drawing your right shoulder down. and then lift your head back up and go to the other side. So right shoulder towards your right ear, left shoulder is reaching down in opposition. Just keep noticing what you're experiencing. Bring your head back to center. And then again, left shoulder towards your left ear. And then reach your right arm out to the side, a little below your shoulder. And then bring your arm back until you feel a super gentle stretch, kind of down, down the length of your arm. And then once you feel that, we're going to add some movement from the hand or the wrist. So you'll take your right fingers back as your head is tipped left. And then bring your fingers forward as you lift your head back up. And then coordinate those two movements. So right ear towards right shoulder, left fingers back. I'm sorry, I'm backwards. <laughs> left ear, left shoulder, right fingers back for you. And one more time. And then just gently relax your arm down and then we'll go to the other side. So if I continue mirroring you, it'll be your right ear towards your right shoulder, left arm out little below your shoulder, a little bit back until you feel a gentle stretch. And then fingers go back as your head is tipped to the side. Fingers forward, head up. Fingers back, head side, and forward. And one more. And then just relax your arms down and then draw your chin toward your chest and with your chin low tip your left ear toward your left shoulder and then right ear toward your right shoulder and center and lift your head and then begin to just roll your shoulders around backwards and then forwards 
and then reach both arms out in front of you and then we'll take left arm over right as far as you can go bend your elbows if you can bring the backs of your hands together maybe wrap around palms together if this doesn't feel like it's accessible for you you can bring elbows and palms together as an alternative so we'll draw shoulders down away from ears and then start to round your spine bring your elbows toward your belly and then arch your spine elbows lift up and back one more time elbows come down rounding your back elbows go forward and up and then we'll unwind arms if they were wound up roll your shoulders and then other side so right elbow over left again if it's too much elbows and palms together otherwise hook your elbow backs of the hands together or palms together draw your shoulders away from your ears and then round elbows toward your belly and elbows forward and up one more time and then unwind your arms again roll your shoulders a few times and then we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees. If you need any padding under your knees, go ahead and take that. Try to line up your wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and then find a, a straight spine. So that means we're not rounded, we're not arched, we're right in the middle. And we're going to move through our shoulder blades. So those are the triangle bones on your back body. And with your arms straight, see if you can let your chest sag down between your arms. And on the back of your body, you might notice your shoulder blades are pulling towards each other. And then push your palms down into the floor, widen your shoulder blades on your back, lift your chest up between your arms. So with the breath, inhale, shoulders, shoulder blades draw towards each other. Exhale, shoulder blades widen. Inhale, chest sags down with elbows straight. Exhale, widen. One more time, inhale, shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale, lift. Let's hold at the top here and we'll add a rotation of the spine. So you can pick your right hand up, reach it as far to the ceiling as you can, really push down with your left arm, and then we'll take it the other direction. Right arm goes through left hand and knee. If you can, lay the side of your sh right shoulder down, maybe the right side of your head, and then with your left hand, push into the floor, twist a little deeper. Right arm also presses into the floor. See if you can bring your awareness to the right shoulder blade and feel a little stretch there. and then push with your left hand to come back up and we'll go to the other side so left hand goes to the ceiling as far as you can push down with your right hand to twist as far as you're able without creating any more strain and then the other direction left arm goes through shoulder and maybe forehead comes down push into the floor with your right hand to twist a little farther and then push into the floor with your whole left arm, noticing what happens at your left shoulder blade. And then we'll bring it back up. Let's do one more on each side like that. And just make sure that the hips are back enough that you're not putting any uh, strain or stress on your neck. The right arm goes up, big inhale into the twist and then exhale, rotating the other direction. We'll stay for a breath here, using your arms to assist this twist. And help yourself back to center. One more on side two. So left arm lifts, twist, 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 inhale. And then exhale, rotate. Lower your head down if you can. Again, weight out of your neck and head. Use your arms to assist. 
and then we'll unwind back to center. Okay, so now building a little bit of strength and stability into your shoulders once they've stretched, draw your abdominals upward toward your spine without rounding the back, just giving you a little extra support there. And then strongly stand into your left arm as you reach your right arm forward. If this doesn't feel good on your right shoulder, you can reach your arm back, that's no problem. And then place your hand down and other side. So stand firmly first in the right hand and then reach your left arm either forward or back and bring it back down. Let's coordinate with the breath. Push down with your left, exhale, reach right. Inhale, lower. Exhale, switching sides. Inhale, lower. Keep going a couple more. Try to avoid sagging down into your shoulders. So there's effort in the standing arm so that your trunk and your hips can remain as still as possible. Let's do one more on each side. And then if you're comfortable with it, we'll sit back into child's pose. So hips towards heels, arms can either stretch out long or they can go back towards your feet. If possible, rest your forehead down. And then carefully help yourself back up. And we'll take our hands just ahead of our shoulders. Curl your toes under, and we're gonna lift up to a downward dog. So hips lift, you can keep your knees soft, and just shift your weight back, chest pressing towards your thighs. So we're, we're emphasizing shoulders a little bit more than lower body in this, um, in this posture. So knees can stay soft. Press your chest back and work on lifting your sit bones up so your head lines up between your shoulders, uh, between your upper arms maybe is more accurate. And then we'll shift our weight forward into a plank. If this doesn't feel good, put your knees down, that's no problem. And then we'll lift back up. And then coordinating with your breath, inhale forward, shoulders over wrist, knees down or up is up to you. And then exhale, push your hips back. Again, knees can stay bent. We'll do one more. Inhale forward. Exhale back. And then gently lower your knees. And again, we'll shift back to child's pose. Any version is fine. And then take your time, you're gonna come down onto your belly. And as you lay down on your belly to begin, we'll stack hands. And then you can rest either your cheek or your forehead on your hands. And we'll come into our breath again. So inhaling fully and deeply through your nose and long, slow exhale. It can be a breath for your mouth or you can come back to your vocalizing breath. Just take a moment to allow your body to orient into this new position. And then as you're ready, Let's move into a position where your elbows are directly under your shoulders. And then your forearms are parallel to one another. Palms can be down if that feels okay for you. If this feels like it's too much back bend, you can take your elbows a little wider so that your chest is a little bit lower. So we're pressing down into the forearms. Draw the shoulders down away from your ears and try to make yourself as tall as you can. And then from here, we're gonna create a side bend. So that means right shoulder slides towards your right hip. You'll look over your shoulder towards your legs behind you. 
and then come back to center. And then left shoulder towards left hip, look over your shoulder and center. Now if you can, as you're side bending, resist sagging down into the shoulders. So you're working to hold yourself in that tallest posture and center and other side. Now if everything feels good here, we'll add the bending of the opposite leg. So when I side bend to the right, I'm going to bend my left knee. And then center, side bend left, bend right knee. And just notice what's happening in the front of your body. Notice what's happening in the back of your body. Notice what's happening to your breath. And finish side bending to the left. And then come back down. Slide your hands back so they're under your shoulders or next to your chest. Hovering your head, look straight down. Draw your shoulders back and down away from your ears. And then start to lift your chest up off the mat. We're only going as high as we can without having to use our hands. So at the top, you should be able to pick your hands up and not fall down. And then lower back down. Shoulders down away from ears. Inhale, lift. Trying to keep your head in line with the rest of your spine. So we're not looking forward. We're looking down and then back down. So let's do two more, building a little bit of strength in the upper back so the neck doesn't have to hold on so, so tightly. And one more. Okay, again, stack your hands. You can rest cheek or forehead. And let's take a, a breath break. Long, slow inhale through your nose. Even longer, slower exhale. See if you can intentionally send your breath into your belly and low back. One more uh, back strengthening exercise here. So the double leg kick is done either with your hands together at your lower back, letting your elbows rest down. Not everyone's shoulders will love this. So if that's you, arms can reach back by your side. Either way is fine. You'll start with your head turned to one side and you choose your arm position. Let your arms relax. And then we're going to bend both knees. Bring your heels towards your butt. Let's kick three, two, one. Straighten your legs. Straighten your arms if they were bent. Lift your head and chest as you look down. And then when you come down, you'll lower your head and turn to the other side. Kick your heels towards your butt. Three, two, one. Lift. Stretch as long as you can, keeping your neck long. And again, lower down, kick, three, two, one, lift, 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 exhale, three, two, one, inhale, lift, lift, lift. Let's do one more to each side of our head position, three, two, one, lift, and lower. And then again, we'll relax. All right, one more belly breath here. Long, slow inhale, noticing your body. Long, slow exhale. Okay, turn onto your back. And hug your knees in toward your chest. You can hold behind your thighs or at your shins. Just gently rock side to side, noticing your body.
and then roll onto your left side. Bend your knees so that they are about in line with your hip. Stretch your left arm out in front of your shoulder and then right hand will just rest on top. And if you're comfortable with it, you can just let your head rest down on the floor. And then we're gonna be turning towards the ceiling. So slide your right hand along your left arm, go across your chest, turn your shoulders towards the ceiling as much as you can without turning your hips. And then eventually reach your right arm back. So your arms are creating a bit of a T, your knees are stacked if possible. And then we'll stay here and take a few breaths. And if it feels okay with your right arm, we'll start to slide your right arm overhead towards the wall behind you, keeping it as close to the ground as you can, and then slide it along the ground toward your hips. Let's do that one more time. Slide your arm overhead towards the wall behind you, opening through the front of your chest and shoulder, and then slide it down. and then come back to the T position and we'll unwind. Hand will come back to the shoulder, across your chest, across your top arm, back to where you started. And then you can carefully turn over onto your right side. So again, knees are bent, about in line with your hip. Right arm reaches forward, head comes down, left hand on top of right. And then we slide our left hand across our right arm, across our chest, turning your shoulders as much towards the ceiling as you can, and then eventually reaching your arm back into the shape of a T. And as I mentioned before, our sides are not always feeling the same. So if it feels a little different, it's okay. And then again, you have the option to sweep your arm up towards the wall behind you, keeping it as close to the ground as you can. Sweep it down to your hip. And once more. And then come back to in line with your shoulder. Bring your hand to your shoulder, across your chest, slide it along the bottom arm. And then we will move into a brief meditation. So you can stay on the floor on your back if you'd prefer, or if you'd like to sit up, you're welcome to do that. So you choose what feels most uh, nourishing for your body and what will allow you to really connect inward. And then either soften your gaze or close your eyes. And much like we did in the beginning of this practice, curiously explore the state of your body. Asking questions like, what am I noticing? You may consider what, if any, differences you are aware of now compared to when you first checked in. Often movement, intentional movement that brings your awareness to your body allows you to move any stuck energy. It may allow you to release tension or pain. And this brief 
internal check-in can help facilitate that process for you. So if there are areas of discomfort, tension, or pain, lovingly let your awareness rest there if it's okay to be with that sensation. See if you can become aware of an area of your body that feels comfortable, that feels good even, or maybe an area that feels at ease. And let your awareness linger there. And then invite this sensation of comfort or ease to expand. You might imagine it washing over you, spreading to all areas of your body, knowing that you're worthy of feeling good. Continue to allow that ease to spread. And very gradually begin to orient yourself to the support beneath you. Feel the air touching any exposed skin. And then you can blink your eyes open and reorient to the space you're in. Letting your awareness Explore, again, textures, colors, familiar objects. And just know that this practice of releasing stored energy or emotions in your body is available when you are willing to slow down and pay attention. So I hope this served you. And if you're interested in using movement practice and meditation together, I have a wonderful 21 day program available for free. So the link is on the screen if you'd like to join me for 21 days of movement and meditation. Hope to see you there.